So we continue heart pathology and today's topic from Robbins is going to be dilated cardiomyopathy. And as the name indicates, dilated means that uh, there will be dilatation of the uh, heart chambers. And this is what the pathology basically is. Okay, normal jo, uh, heart chamber ka size hai, they're going to be dilated from the normal size. Or abhi is dilation se jo problem honi hai, wo problem ye hai, ke as the heart uh, chambers dilate, unki jo contractile effectiveness hai, wo kam ho jati hai. So inki contractility mein issue aata hai, and you know heart is a pump. और अगर हार्ट की कॉन्ट्रैक्टिलिटी में इशू आएगा तो यही सबसे बड़ा इशू है हार्ट की फिजियोलॉजी के लिए ओके नो दे कैन बी डिफरेंट कॉजेस उनके बारे में भी हम डिस्कस करेंगे डायलेटेड कार्डियोमायोपैथी डीसीएम जिसको ये कहेंगे बार-बार इट इज कैरेक्टराइज्ड बाय प्रोग्रेसिव कार्डियक डायलेटेशन एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्टाइल डिसफंक्शन सो दिस इज व्हाट आई वाज टेलिंग यू के इट्स बेसिकली द कॉन्ट्रैक्टाइल डिसफंक्शन व्हिच इज द हॉलमार्क ऑफ द डिजीज के कॉन्ट्रैक्टिलिटी जो है हार्ट की वो अफेक्टेड हो जाती है एंड द कॉन्ट्रैक्टिलिटी व्हेन वी से वी बेसिकली मीन द सिस्टोलिक फंक्शन ऑफ द हार्ट ओके नाउ यूजुअली विद कंकरेंट हाइपरट्रॉफी सो डायलेटेशन इज ऑब्जर्वड आल्सो विद हाइपरट्रॉफिड एरियाज ऑफ द हार्ट एंड रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द कॉज द क्लिनिको पैथोलॉजिकल पैटर्न्स रिमेन द सेम यानी किसी भी कॉज से अभी हम डिफरेंट कॉजेस देखेंगे कि हार्ट में ये जो डायलिटेशन हो रही है क्यों हो रही है इट कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ इन्फ्लेमेशन इट कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ अल्कोहल फॉर एग्जांपल इट कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ डेपोजिशन ऑफ समथिंग्स जैसे कि आयरन तो हीमोसाइड्रोसिस वगैरह में सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स कैन कॉज डायलिटेड कार्डियोमायोपैथी बट व्हाटएवर द कॉज इज द क्लिनिकल पिक्चर रिमेन्स द सेम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट कि क्या क्या चीजें हैं जो डायलिटेड कार्डियोमायोपैथी कॉज कर सकती हैं सो Uh, it can be genetic. Uh, there may be people who have inherited tendency of uh, getting dilated cardiomyopathy, and there are some acquired uh, myocardial inserts. Covered, you know, use kiya hai. Acquired myocardial inserts, मतलब के environmental को issues हैं. So, for example, inflammation, myocarditis. So, inflammatory disorder that precedes the development of cardiomyopathy in at least some cases, sometimes by viral infection. So, any inflammation can lead to dilated cardiomyopathy. then uh, toxicities because of certain things such as alcohol pregnancy can cause dilated cardiomyopathy it can be because of stress and it can also be because of if the heart is beating uh, more 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 kind of thing because tachycardia is uh, the heart beating more than normal so it also leads to loss of contractility of the cardiac tissue and ultimately um, dilated so if you look at this diagram this is the normal shape of the heart and look how dilated and plumpy the heart has become in this diagram so that's the dilated cardiomyopathy okay right um and uh, and this is to differentiate this from different other cardiac pathologies or ek myopathy to ye hai jisme the heart becomes dilated then this is another myopathy in which you compare this is the wall size of the ventricle and now here this is the wall size of the ventricle so there is hypertrophy obviously and then here there is narrowing of the uh, outlets which is restrictive cardiomyopathy so dilated versus hypertrophic versus restrictive okay now by the time the dilated cardiomyopathy is diagnosed it has frequently already progressed to the end stage disease so that's a bad news ke jab ye pata lagta hai to already kafi der ho chuki hui hoti hai and uh, the contractility of the heart is very poor at this time and the only thing you may be thinking is the cardiac transplant so that's a serious serious issue okay now you should be aware of some genetic uh, causes of uh, dcm it has hereditary basis in 20 to 50% of the cases so that's a very big number in a in a big chunk of patients it is actually because of genetic issues and uh, bahut sari genes hain which have been identified over 50 genes are known to be mutated in this form and kuch genes hain jinke naam agar aapko yaad rakhne hain so dekhte hain unko so mutations affecting the cytoskeleton protein or protein that link the sarcomere to the cytoskeleton obviously it should make sense because agar in proteins mein jo sarcomeres aur कार्डियोमायोसाइड के स्ट्रक्चर का इंटीग्रल कंपोनेंट है उनमें अगर म्यूटेशंस हैं देन ऑब्वियसली वो प्रोटीन ठीक से काम नहीं करेंगी वो ठीक से काम नहीं करेंगी तो देर आर चांसेस ऑफ डेवलपिंग ऑफ डायलिटेड कार्डियोमायोपैथी ओके एक्स लिंक फॉर्म इज मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंटली एसोसिएटेड विद म्यूटेशन इज डिस्ट्रॉफिन जीन अगेन दैट्स ए स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोटीन ठीक है इट्स अ सेल मेम्ब्रेन प्रोटीन दैट फिजिकली कपल्स द इंट्रासेलुलर साइकोस्केलेटन टू द एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर मेट्रिक्स सो ये सपोर्ट प्रोटीन है इफ दिस इज डैमेज हार्ट गोज लाइक बॉन्ग डायलेटेड 
Uncommon forms of DCM are caused by mutations of mitochondrial protein involved in oxidative phosphorylation or fatty acid beta oxidation, presumably leading to defects in ATP formation. So either the mutations are related to the structural proteins or they are related to pura ye jo cardiac activity hai isko run karne ke liye obviously you need a lot of ATP or ATP kahan produce hota in the mitochondria by oxidative phosphorylation. So oxidative phosphorylation mein agar koi proteins involved hai, koi enzymes involved hai aur unme mutation ho jati hai. So what you will have is like reduced number of ATP and because of reduced number of ATP DCM can happen. Okay, so ye do major forms hai genetic issues ke. One is in the structural protein, two is in the ATP. Other genetic forms of uh, dilated cardiomyopathy include those with mutations in cytoskeletal proteins such as Desmin. Ya dystrophin ki baat ki thi, now Desmin. Also, laminins A and C. Since tractile myocytes and conduction fibers share a common developmental pathway, congenital conduction abnormalities also can be a feature of inherited forms of DCM. So, these, uh, uh, because of the developmental similarities, they are also associated with uh, uh, other signs and symptoms. So that's as simple. Kai sare developmental genetic issues mein aise hi hota hai. If they share the common origin of development, to tamam areas pe disturb hote hain. Agar wo protein bahut sare organs mein. Jaise for example, agar aap first pharyngeal arch ki ya third pharyngeal arch ki baat kare. So third pharyngeal arch, for example, is uh, uh, it's very important for development of structures such as thymus as well as parathyroid so agar third pharyngeal apparatus ke andar issues hain so there will be problem with the thymus immunity ka issue hoga there will also be problem with the calcium metabolism so tetany and hypocalcemia all these things can happen just because thymus and parathyroid share the similar uh, embryological phenomena okay now the nucleic acid footprints uh, of coxsackie virus b and other enteroviruses can occasionally be detected in the myocardium from dcm patients important you have to know about viral uh, association simply finding viral transcripts or demonstrating elevated antiviral antibody titers may be sufficient to invoke myocarditis that was missed so there was viral infection there was myocarditis it was missed but because of the virus there is dilated cardiomyopathy so genetics viruses alcohol can cause it alcohol abuse is strongly associated with development of dilated cardiomyopathy very very important okay now alcohol um, and uh, the metabolites jo alcohol se bande hain they have direct toxic effect on myocardium moreover chronic alcoholism can be associated with thymine deficiency and this also uh, contributes to an element in the heart disease now dilated cardiomyopathy can also develop after exposure to other toxic agents such as cobalt doxorubicin um, uh, this is a very common chemotherapeutic agent um, so chemotherapy ke patient maybe you can see dilated cardiomyopathy if uh, the person is given doxorubicin then peripartum this occur late in gestation or several weeks to months postpartum. So that is the area just before gestation and actually several weeks before gestation and also continue after the delivery has been done. So those area may be dilated uh, cardiomyopathy can be seen. The etiology is multifactorial there. It includes pregnancy associated hypertension. This can lead to dilated cardiomyopathy. There is obviously volume overload. So the heart is pumping a lot of volume as compared to the non-pregnant state. Nutritional deficiency metabolic derangement such as gestational diabetes all these contribute to dilated heart okay um, recent work suggests that the primary defect is impaired angiogenesis within the myocardium leading to ischemic injury so wedge f uh, k levels come hote and this is one of the pathway that has been suggested by research but what you need to remember is that cardiomyopathy genetic causes viral causes toxins and then peripartum okay then iron overload now in the heart if there is iron load in the body it can result from hereditary uh, hemochromatosis a, a very common cause of hereditary uh, iron overload or from multiple transfusions if somebody is getting repeated transfusion because of some blood disorder so iron overload can also cause restrictive cardiomyopathy due to fibrosis but dcm is the most common manifestation of a very important baat hai. Um, uh, for one reason or the other, I don't know why, but many students think that iron overload is restrictive cardiomyopathy, hoti, which is true. Hoti hai, but more common is the dilated cardiomyopathy. So, this is very, very important. 
Now, if uh, we now continue our discussion to the clinical feature, the clinical feature is basically ineffective contraction of the heart. So, systole is not possible. So, blood getting out of the heart is affected. So, in any stage, dilated cardiomyopathy, the ejection fraction becomes less than 25%. So, the heart is just not able to pump. This situation. Hai. Secondary, mitral regurg can happen and abnormal cardiac rhythms can happen. Obviously, if the heart is not pumping fine, um, then rhythm disturbances, arrhythmias, all these can end. Blood is stagnant, hoga, thrombi formation. Heart ke under there will be thrombi formation. Because imagine, na, ek heart hai, usme se blood nikal nahi ra, to blood yaha jama hai now. There are chances ke ye blood jo hai, wo thrombotic event ki taraf jayega. Yaha pe thrombus ban jayega, because there is stasis of blood. DCM most commonly is diagnosed between 20 and 50 years of age. It typically manifests as signs which uh, are persistent hoti hai with congestive heart failure. Yani banda sidiyan chad raha hai, saans pool rahi hai, thoda sa kaam kar raha hai, to all these sort of thing. Edema ho sakta hai body mein. Exertion uh, per there is poor respiratory capacity. Now one half of the patients die within two years and only 25% survive longer than five years. So that's pretty fatal disease. Cardiac transplantation is the only definitive form of treatment. Because aapka heart gaya hai na, heart farik ho gaya hai, aap heart contract nahi kar raha. So that's the only thing you can do to cure these patients. Thik hai ji? Right, so ye basically tamam discussion mujhe karna tha for cardiac, uh, dilated form of cardiac biopathy. It's a good table showing you there are genetic causes and there are non-genetic causes. So if you talk about genetic causes, which count for actually a big chunk of dilated cardiomyopathy, 20 to 50%, it can be because of a structural protein ke andar mutation, mitochondria ke andar mutation these are very common then non-genetic may inflammation peripartum alcohol iron and of course idiopathic is the favorite for medical students right now uh, dilated cardiomyopathy uh, may there will be dilation with areas of hypertrophy there can be fibrosis intracardiac thrombi and clinically the patients present with heart failure uh, fibrillation stroke sudden death so ye asan hai samajhna isko mushkil nahi hai once you have studied the whole video aapne dekh liya to ye loop of the diagram is very easy to understand for you okay so that's all about dilated cardiomyopathy i'll end the video here in the next video we'll then deal with other forms of cardiomyopathy take care of yourself